A shadow moves beneath the dark water. It is not a log. It is not a trick of the light. It is life, massive life, ancient life, powerful life. Deep in the heart of the Amazon, a place of mystery and endless green, something truly colossal has been found. A team of people in a small boat watched in stunned silence. They held their breath. The creature they saw was a snake, but a snake of impossible size. This was a giant that belonged to a time of legends. The story of its discovery is a reminder. Our world still holds wonders that can leave us speechless. This is the story of the day we met one of the true titans of the jungle. This incredible discovery took place in the remote Yasuni region of Ecuador. This part of the Amazon basin is famed for staggering biodiversity. The forest is dense, the rivers are slow, human contact minimal. Yasuni is one of the most life-rich places on Earth. Jaguar, monkeys, birds, and the perfect habitat for the green anaconda. Along a muddy tributary of the Napo, in wetlands and flooded forest, a massive aquatic predator thrives. Warani fishermen first reported the snake. Their knowledge of the forest is deep and ancient. They contacted a scientific team led by biologist Dr. Lena Hansen, bridging ancient knowledge with modern science. Resting, digesting a recent meal, the anaconda was sluggish, a rare chance to document responsibly. From a safe distance, the team prepared, measure the animal, and learn about the health of its ecosystem. A beautiful mosaic of dark green, almost black, with large circular blotches, a pale yellow underside, perfect camouflage on a muddy bank. Only cameras and quiet murmurs broke the still air. An animal of this size demands absolute respect. Safety of the team and well-being of the snake came first. They knew this was a once-in-a-lifetime encounter. The body seemed to go on forever. So just how big was this colossal snake? The numbers are hard to comprehend. After repeated measurements, length was 33.1 feet, longer than a London double-decker bus. Imagine five adults head to toe to toe. It could stretch across a two-lane road with room to spare. Not an estimate, but a documented fact. Using a heavy-duty sling and a field scale, the team weighed the snake. 550 pounds, heavier than a male lion heavier than three adult men combined, pure muscle. At its widest, nearly 40 inches in girth, like hugging a living muscular tree trunk. Green anaconda, Eunectes murinus, is the heaviest snake. It rivals the reticulated python for length. Stories of 40, 50, even 60 feet abound, but lack credible evidence. Science relies on verifiable data. This 33-foot specimen ranks among the largest ever documented by modern methods. Imagine a thick fire hose, a line, and as long as a school bus. A head broader than a dinner plate, eyes watching with ancient intelligence. As Dr. Hansen put it, you don't feel like you are looking at a snake. You feel like you are in the presence of a river god. How do you safely and accurately measure a living giant? With careful planning. First, secure the area, keep the snake calm, and people well back. Photogrammetry, hundreds of overlapping images from many angles. A 3D model yields accurate length and girth without handling. For physical checks, a non-abrasive tape laid carefully along the spine. Two-person team, section by section, communicating constantly. Temporary marks, every measurement repeated three times. Do no harm. Dr. Hansen explained. Weighing a 550-pound snake in jungle conditions is a logistical feat. The sling supports the body, raised only inches for a clean digital reading. Done swiftly, stress kept to a minimum. A tiny tissue sample for DNA, toxins and isotope analysis. Every datum recorded, results headed for peer review, a lasting contribution to science. The green anaconda is a semi-aquatic master as at home in water as on land. It prefers slow rivers, swamps, and marshes. Mostly submerged, senses exposed, watching and waiting. It can hold its breath over 10 minutes, invisible from above. A patient predator with explosive power, 
an ambush at the water's edge. Anacondas have no venom, their weapon is muscle. Coils tighten with each exhale, breathing stops, circulation collapses. Elastic ligaments and unfused jaws allow swallowing prey wider than the head. Afterward it rests for weeks, vulnerable and hidden. Giants grow slowly and live long, surviving flood, drought, predators, and time. Myths paint malevolent monsters. Reality, they rarely attack humans and prefer to slip away unseen. They are not fast on land, an adult can easily outrun one on firm ground. Respect the waterline, the true arena of their mastery. No magic, only evolution, stealth, camouflage, patience. Local elders and scientists work together to dispel myths, teaching caution without fear. The more people learn, the more fear is replaced by respect and wonder. Better for humans, better for snakes. The discovery sent ripples of excitement and debate far beyond science. For the Warani, pride and spiritual meaning, tales of great serpents in the river's depths. Guardianship affirmed, yet concern that attention could upset balance. The scientific community responded with cautious excitement. Images went viral, captivating millions. Awe for the creature and concern for its home. Threats to Yasuni came into focus. Exploration, illegal logging, pollution. The anaconda became a symbol of what we stand to lose. Living with large predators is part of life here. Time to refresh safety. Maintain respectful distance. If you see an anaconda, stay calm and do not approach. Give it room to move away. Never corner a wild animal. Be extra cautious at dawn and dusk. Avoid swimming or collecting water alone. Make some noise so animals can slip away before you arrive. Watch children and pets. Teach them to avoid the water's edge. Never feed wild animals. It's dangerous and disrupts the ecosystem. A fed predator often becomes a removed predator. The best help, leave them wild. Outreach turns fear into stewardship. For science, this giant is a living data point, a bio-indicator of a thriving ecosystem. It helps set baselines to measure change elsewhere. Amid stories of loss, this is a beacon of resilience and wonder. The discovery was possible because indigenous knowledge and modern science work together. Empowering local stewards of the true experts and is key to protecting these places. After measurements and samples, the team did the most important thing. They left the snake alone. They watched it slide back into the murk and disappear. Not captured, not killed. Studied, respected, returned. The great snake remains out there. A living symbol of the wild. If you enjoyed this story, like, share, and subscribe for more wonders of our planet.